archaeologists spend their lives studying ancient mysteries. But some of those ancient mysteries are actually recent. What do we mean by that? We mean that the mysteries might be ancient, but they've only recently come to light. It sometimes takes a while to get to the bottom of the riddle posed by a new archaeological discovery. And in some cases, the answers never come at all. Here's a fine collection of recent mysteries encountered by the experts. In October 2021, archaeologists discovered a set of human-like footprints on the island of Crete. Based on the evidence, the footprints are around 6 million years old. That leaves the experts with a big question to answer. Were these impressions left behind on the beach by an ape, or are we looking at the footprints of the earliest ancestor of modern humans? If it turns out to be the latter, it will rip up many of the existing theories about early human evolution. It's a commonly held belief that the first humans emerged in Africa. But if these are human footprints, we'd have to move that point of origin to the Mediterranean. There are actually two sets of tracks, both of which are on a beach not far from the village of Trachilos. The shape and depth of the print suggests that whatever made them walked with its metatarsals and toes flat on the ground. That's the key finding that marks the footprints out as the work of a bipedal hominin, not an ape. All signs point to a shift in our understanding of where human life began, but it might take a while for the scientific community to accept it. October was also an exciting month for archaeologists in China's Hunan province, where a research team confirmed the discovery of four ancient tombs that are believed to date back 1,900 years. The tombs, specifically located in Guiyang County, are thought to have been undisturbed prior to their discovery, based on the number of grave goods that have been retrieved from them. Archaeologists are still working at the site, but have thus far managed to remove more than 80 artifacts, including fine examples of bronzeware, silverware, ironware, glassware, and ceramics. The bones of the human occupants of the tombs haven't survived the passing of the years, but based on the silver earrings and pendants they were buried with, it's probably fair to assume that they were women. Once the contents of the tombs have been fully excavated and analyzed, Experts hope they'll provide us with new insight into the culture, social, and funerary customs of the Eastern Han Dynasty, a time in Chinese history that we still have many unanswered questions about. There's still a lot of digging and excavating to do before the study period begins, though. Back in 2016, an unusual stone artifact was discovered at the archaeological site of Vale de Pedra Furada in Brazil. Experts didn't know what to make of it at the time, but here in late 2021, they're starting to think that it might be the single most important archaeological discovery in Brazilian history. They now think the stone artifact is an incredible 24,000 years old, and could, therefore, be connected to the first human settlers in the Americas. Historians currently believe that the first humans to settle here arrived 15,000 years ago, this discovery could push that event back almost 10,000 years. Archaeologists aren't totally sure what the object is. It's hexagonal in shape and would have been symmetrical when it was created. There's no doubt that it was shaped by human hands. It doesn't have any clear purpose as a tool, so it might have been a symbolic or ritual object that had a ceremonial use. That's just a guess, though. And guessing is all the experts can do because they have nothing to compare the artifact to. Nothing like this has ever been found before. You'd like to think that a 40-foot long shipwreck on a beach is the sort of thing people might notice, but it's taken well over a century to find this one. The ship was found in October 2021 on a beach close to the Latvian capital city of Riga, but the wreck isn't thought to be Latvian in origin. Archaeologists are currently working with the theory that it's a 19th century British Royal Navy vessel, but that's yet to be confirmed. The copper nails in what's left of the ship's hull are certainly consistent with the British shipbuilding traditions of the era. It might have been a warship or a long-distance merchant vessel, and it's probably more than 150 years old. 
Up until now, it's been hidden by 36 feet of sand, which probably explains why nobody found it by chance while out walking on the beach. The problem with the ship losing its sand blanket is that it exposed the stranded vessel to the air, causing the wooden hull to start degrading rapidly. For that reason, archaeologists have covered it up again while they consider possibilities for either preservation or extraction. Here's another well-known archaeological hotspot that's still turning up new finds in the 2020s. It's the Angkor Wat Temple Complex in Cambodia, where archaeologists have recently discovered a large sandstone statue. The experts think that the sculpture was created in the 12th century and would have been positioned as a guardian standing at the entrance of a primitive hospital. Angkor Wat is a complex site with many layers. The first temple here was erected in the 9th century, but additional buildings were added over a period of almost 500 years. It's popular with tourists and attracts around 2.5 million people every year. The statue was found barely two feet underground while archaeologists were excavating the hospital. The hospital itself was built by order of King Jayavarman VII, who ruled from 1181 to 1220. He was a progressive leader by the standards of the era and had a reputation for creating social programs and welfare facilities. The arms and legs of the statue are broken, but all the pieces are still there, so it should be possible to put it back together again. In February 2020, a bronze Greek warrior statue was found at the bottom of Haifa Bay in Israel. It's a fine artifact, so well preserved that its gold leaf decorations of snakes and lions are still visible. But archaeologists are a little confused about how it ended up at the bottom of the bay in the first place. They believe the helmet is roughly 2,600 years old and belonged to a Greek mercenary who fought under the banner of Egyptian pharaoh Nico II. A similar helmet was found close to the Italian island of Giglio during the 1950s, but this one is of better quality. In fact, such is the quality of the piece that experts believe the mercenary must have been rich. An average soldier of the time wouldn't have been able to afford such an elaborately decorated piece of headgear. There were no known Greek colonies in Israel 2,600 years ago, but the Egyptians are known to have hired Greek mercenaries because of their fearsome reputation on the battlefield. There's no sign of a shipwreck in the area, so it's possible that the helmet was simply dropped overboard by accident during one of the warrior's travels. We're back on the topic of Vikings again now. In December 2020, an incredible hoard of Viking silver was found during excavation work at the site of an ancient building in Vigbyholm, close to Stockholm in Sweden. The building is thought to have been a farmhouse during the Viking Age. There, researchers found coins, bracelets, and necklaces with designs that aren't typically seen in Viking silver halls in the region. It's unusual to find this much silver in a residential building. And what's even more unusual is that the artifacts appear to come from many different countries. Five of the coins are Arabian and are known as dirhams. A rare 10th century French coin minted in the city of Rouen is also among the collection. Most of the collection comes from the 11th century, but there are signs that it was first buried during the 10th and then dug up and added to repeatedly over the course of the next 100 years. One explanation might be that people paid for goods and services from the farm, using whatever silver they had on their person. But it's also possible that a Viking warrior set up a farm after retiring from the military and buried his pillaged goods under his new home. Let's stay in Stockholm for a moment because an astonishing discovery was made there in December 2019 when a 500-year-old shipwreck was found right in the middle of the city. Historians have been able to identify the shipwreck as that of the Samso, a cargo ship that was launched from Halsingland in 1598. What's left of it is now underneath a courtyard at Kungstradgarden. It was only found because of renovation work in the area, which included lowering the courtyard to strengthen the foundations of the property. This remarkable find only partially solves the mystery of the Samson, a large ship that was over 100 feet long. There are no records of her after 1607, 
just nine years after she was launched. Historians think that it must have met with some sort of disaster, but it was then dragged back to land to be stripped of anything valuable and then partially disassembled before being abandoned on the shore. If that's true, though, the process of stripping the ship of its valuables wasn't very thorough. There were still coins, glass, ceramics, and pipes inside the remains of the vessel when it was recovered. The residents of Vancouver Island, Canada have always known there's something odd about the shore of Comics Harbor. When the tide goes out, thousands of tiny stakes can be seen poking up from the ground. They've been there for as long as anybody can remember, but nobody knew who put them there or why. That all changed in August 2021. After an extensive study carried out by Nancy Green and experts from Malaspina College, the stakes have been identified as part of a 1,300-year-old fish trap. There are exactly 13,602 stakes still standing today, but there were probably once far more. Between them, they'd make up over 300 individual fish traps. That easily makes this the largest fish trap system in North America, and probably the biggest in the world, too. It's likely that the purpose of the traps has only vanished from the collective memory of the locals relatively recently. The traps were declared illegal following the smallpox epidemic of 1862, and fisheries officers were told to destroy them. Instead, it seems they covered them up with sand, which was then dislodged after an earthquake in the 1940s. The earthquake revealed the traps once more, but somehow everyone had forgotten what they were in less than a century. The bogs of Ireland are known for their preservative properties. That makes them a rich hunting ground for archaeologists. And so that proved to be the case yet again in August 2021, when this Iron Age wooden idol was found in a bog in County Roscommon, not far from the town of Gortnachrana. The eight-foot-tall idol, carved from the trunk of an oak tree, is vaguely human-shaped, but has several long horizontal notches carved into its body. The significance of the notches is unknown. Only 12 Iron Age idols of this kind have ever been found in the country, but this one is easily the largest. Its end has been worked to a point, suggesting it may once have been implanted in the ground and stood upright. It might, therefore, have been a focal point for rituals that happened in the area 1,600 years ago. The presence of weapons, gold, animal bones, and human bones in the bog suggests that it was a place that people came to make votive offerings, so it's possible that the idol itself became a votive offering when whoever made it no longer had a use for it. Many Nazi-era artifacts were destroyed in Germany after the defeat of Adolf Hitler. But a few former officers weren't keen to get rid of their property and mementos. Rather than destroying or surrendering them, they found secret hiding places for them and kept them. That's probably how this cache of Nazi memorabilia came to be walled up in the cavity of a house in the German city of Hagen. It was found during renovation work after a flood in July 2021. Included in the hoard are newspapers from 1945, a revolver, a gas mask, brass knuckle dusters, winged eagle insignia, and a collection of Nazi paperwork. It's almost like a Nazi time capsule. Keeping the documentation would have been a risky move for whoever lived here at the end of the war, because paperwork was highly sought after by the Allies, and protecting it would have been a criminal offense. Although the collection isn't the most pleasant thing to find inside the walls of your home, it's still an important piece of history, and so has been passed to the city's museum and archive. Being an archaeologist isn't always a glamorous job. It involves a lot of digging, and sometimes it involves digging through things that most people would go out of their way to avoid. In November 2021, archaeologists in Cardiff, Wales, set about the task of digging out some old public toilets in the city. They got their reward when they found the remains of what appears to be a high-status medieval building lurking in the darkness beneath the old latrines. The site isn't far from the 13th century old bishop's castle of Landaff, so the two buildings might once have been connected. 
The presence of checkered floor tiles was the first sign of the building's presence, shortly followed by the discovery of its fireplace. The fact that the fireplace is made of bath stone suggests the property's owner was wealthy. It was an expensive choice for the era. The bishops of the 14th and 15th centuries had manorial rights, so this could easily have been the home of a local religious leader. The toilets were demolished to make way for a new community center, but the remains of the old building have been covered and preserved for future generations. Subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications, and you will be the first to know when a new video comes out. Thank you for watching and see you soon.